Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, today I'm trying to install auxiliary input for my uh, 2004 Mustang. You know, we do have auxiliary input button, but there is no auxiliary input anywhere in the car. So um, I found a cheap solution. So I got this um, I simple right here I simple unit. So this one hook right into the uh, FM antenna through right here. Hope you see it. And then uh, this side you have RCA input right here, right here. Get up to um, right here, uh, 87.9 channel or the 88.3. Uh, you have a selection right here. You can change the channel. Or oh, on the back, you have the gain adjustment. So uh, I'm gonna leave it default mine. And this unit comes with um, a switch. That goes uh, hooks right in here, right here. So first thing first, we gotta we need to rip the uh, dashboard apart. I uh, know the dashboard, this uh, front section apart. So um, put the car in, uh, put the car in e brakes, emergency brakes, and turn the uh, engine. Put the uh, your gear into number one position and just rip this thing apart from both sides just pinch from the both sides and pull it out like that pinch, it, pinch this one and pull it out try to pull this thing apart right now pull this one out this way Like this, out. Here we go. Take the first one out. A little clip right here on top. Pinch that. See, I broke one piece already. Take it out on the last one. Press the tab and pull it out. All right, right here. You go. Let me zoom it in. Right there. You have uh, two nuts. Um, I'm, I'm using a uh, 932 socket. I mean, I think it's a seven millimeter. So take them out. Please don't drop your, these little screws. Okay, that's it. So now you're gonna put the head unit out. Yeah, head unit is in some kind of a uh, rail, so make sure when you pull it out. Let me show you guys out. Come right here. So right here, right here, this is your antenna. So take it out, pull it out right up, like that. Right here, your antenna, take it out. I mean, that's the only connection you gotta disconnect from the radio. Don't mess with any of these wires. So you get your, uh, 
I simple. Unit. And you're gonna hook this wire. We're gonna test fit first. Just wanna test the sounds how they how, how it is. Plug this in. There's a simple RCA wire that I got from Micro Center. We have two connections. Right here. Uh, one connection goes to your radio. Hopefully you can see it. Right in the back of it right here. Plug it in. And this side plug the orange wire, the antenna wire coming from coming from the antenna. Okay, that's it. And then you're gonna put the radio back in. I'm just gonna I'm gonna test it off first. I just wanna see the, how the sounds or the, does it have any does it have any I mean, it might have problems, you never know. Okay. So the power, power options, you got two or three options to get power from. Power to the um, iSimple unit. You can get power from your radio, head unit, or you can get power from your fuse box, or you can get power from your um, cigar lighter, right here at the bottom. I just don't want to see magic smoke. Yes, bottom one is negative. And the red wire, just gonna hook it up to the other one, other end. Okay. Okay. So now we will hook up the switch. Right here. I'm just gonna plug it right in. I know it's a mess, but okay. So I'm gonna work on that. Okay, I'm gonna put the car back in park. Radio. Turn the radio on, put the volume up. So 87.9 is my unit. So I'm gonna turn it on. So right now it's see the uh, right now my unit is off. You hear all the um, craziness going on there. So I'm gonna turn turn it on. One, two, three. Everything goes away. See all the noises, has everything just gone. So I already have my audio wire. Let me get my cell phone. Okay, let me let's try some non-copyrighted songs. Otherwise, YouTube is gonna see. It sounds good, guys. I'm gonna put the volume up from here. It's coming from the radio. Okay, I'm gonna skip through this thing. So, what do you guys think? I have ox in my car. I mean, it sounds really good. It sounds very clean. I mean, there's. It's almost CD quality. I mean, I can tell it's maybe more, better than CD quality. Change the next song. It's another song from non copyrighted songs. I think this is fantastic. So you have volume here, there, 
and you have a whole lot of um, equalizer. Look, best booster. Dance. Normal. I like to keep it normal. So it works fine for me. So for right now, I'm gonna stop everything and I have to tuck all the wires in. So let's go from there. All right, people, that's an update. Okay, I tuck all the stuff in and I got this quick splice. See, the blue one is um, hot, positive, which is positive. And the black one is, of course, negative. Um, and I tuck all the wires right here and there. Right here. See, I simple unit is right under here, like we have a lot of space. And I put some, I put wire ties in there and it's all tucked in, it, it doesn't move good to go and then right here are the, these wires I have the power cable and it comes with this little fuse and the switch I had to worry about and audio output right here so I got an idea uh, we, so right now since we have this we can make this one Bluetooth, you know, you can get a Bluetooth adapter for this from uh, online somewhere, like it must be in uh, eBay or Amazon must have it. Uh, for now, I'm going to put the wire through here on the side of the thing. I have a lot of space, but I don't think I want to put any wires through this side. Actually, I might. I might have more space on the under here. So I'm gonna snake this um, this audio wire through on the, from the side, uh, and I'm gonna tuck these all the red wires and all these switches and everything. Even the switch, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna snake through here just for now because I gotta make uh, modifications for this, and I'm still thinking about it. I really don't wanna make a hole in this uh, trim piece. So let's see what's gonna what's gonna happen. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, another update. Uh, so I tuck all the wires in right here. So everything everything is out of the way. Um, the switch. I just uh, it has a little crack over here. So I got the wire, Just this is just for now, this is temporary, just hanging there. Uh, same thing with the audio wire, it, it is coming from here. It's very easy, you can put your hand inside and crowd the wires through inside the panel and then come back, I mean get it out from this side. Uh, it comes out from here, just go around the seat and just come out. So whatever you have, your, whenever you have your phone or your iPad or iPod, whatever, you can hook it up through here. So I'm gonna put the trim pieces back and we can test it out whether this uh, work or not, find out any loose connections or whatever, all right? Uh, another update. So just line up with the holes the same way you take it out, took it out, push it in, plug everything back in. Um, cigarette lighter, plug it in. Make sure the wires are good. Push it in. Okay. See these wires kind of, I mean, this switch is kind of annoying me, but just for now, I can live with it. Just dangling here, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Right here. Oh, even I have a lot of space right here. You want to leave it here somewhere? Okay, one moment of truth. All right. 
got that as gear back. Put the seat belt on. Alright. Turn the car. See radio works fine. All the channels work fine. C A C I. Ever vigilant. So put the channel 87.9. Disappear. It's all gone, it's dead silent. So let's put our music. Just plug it in. And play. It works fine, it works great. Sounds great, almost like CD quality. I can tell you, like, I cannot tell the difference. All right, I mean, this is the easiest and the cheapest way to add an auxiliary for your car. I mean, it's not really auxiliary, but this is the cheapest way. Like, I spent about 30 bucks total. I mean, the unit itself, I simple unit itself, like 20 22 dollars from eBay. I got it, like, brand new and um. The wire is like wire is like six dollars. Good wire. I mean, you can make wire, or you can buy one from Amazon, eBay, or uh, Micro Center, whatever place. So this is the final, final product. I'm, I'm very happy. Look, I mean, it took me about an hour to do the recording and all the uh, wiring and tuck everything in. But next time I'm gonna make a hole here, or I'm gonna add a um, Bluetooth for this so I don't have to plug this one in at all um, and this uh, switch right here I need to find a place to hide it I just don't like the way it is but I'm keeping it right now just for maybe two weeks or so a week or two weeks just for test it out and um, so far so good thank you so much I'm out